What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I am getting started on changing out my shocks here. Um, I've changed the front ones, but I've never changed the, uh, the rear. And I've had this truck for a little over a year, so I figured it would make more sense to go ahead and uh, have the peace of mind knowing these are good. I don't know. Hold on here. Oh, wrong way there we go so anyway like I was saying I just wanted the peace of mind of knowing that these are in good condition uh, I mean they look all right this one looks all right but I also went and changed out the four uh, this is a two-wheel drive f-350 and um i got the ones that were for four-wheel drive because as you can see that block right there uh i put a three inch lift on this truck so um obviously this does um extend enough uh but i'd rather just be safe than sorry uh that's just how i look at it um here is the one for the four-wheel drive truck so as you can see that is actually even with that nut up there the mounting nut and as you can see down here that the old one is not touching the ground whereas this one is so uh let me pause the video here that way i can have two hands to uh get that nut up top let me see here. I'm going to try and take this off without using both hands, but I may need both hands. Let's give this a try. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's shocking. No pun intended. Oh, okay. Come on. Just walk yourself off. You know, I forgot to grab uh, a pry bar, but I'm sure... I did not put these wires on here. This is for the reverse camera on the truck. I did not wire this. It was done by the previous owner. I would not have wired it that way. But anyway, let's uh, put this one on. We're now doing the uh, top mount for the shock. Oh boy, come on. I may have to have two hands to put it on. That is really difficult to put on there. That rubber that's on here is um, very tight. Yeah, I'm going to pause the video and I'll um, come back when I get it uh, mounted. Alright guys, I'm back. I got it on there. Um, it wanted to fight me the whole way, I mean, to the bitter end, <clears throat> but what I ended up doing is getting my grease gun, which is right here, um, and I put a, a slab of grease on that, uh, the place where it mounts onto the mounting stud, and, um, then put a little bit inside of the, uh, shock there we go put a little bit inside of the the shock ear which is that part and it went on just fine now let me see if i can lift this Ooh. all right that is a definitely a new shock just a second guys oh boy oh yeah that that's a good shock there <laughs> All right, now to put the stud through. Come on. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is, this is a strong shock. Whew. Not easy doing this. Oh, come on. All right. Oh. There we go. Just lift up. There we go. Just got to get it through the other end. There we go. All right. And there it is. 
Oh, yeah, the rear end definitely needed to be changed. I mean, I thought this one was still in good condition. It's tough to push it down in the beginning, but then you just push it down so easily. And that is telling me that it was beginning to get worn out. But, um, and I just put that in backwards. Great. I'm going to pause and fix this just a minute. All right. Took me a little bit, but I got it back on there. Can't believe I put that on backwards. So, um, almost, there we go. So let's see if this will go back on or is it going to spin on me? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to press up against that brake line. That's the hard brake line it just smacked into. You don't want that. So let me hold it. There we go. Aren't I multi-talented? Doing three things at once. Oh yeah, that's on there now. So as you can see, it's not as difficult. You may have some snags you run into, but... Uh, it's not that bad. Um, once I'm done with this, um, I'll make a short. I mean, there's no, really no sense in making a video on the finished product. But as you can see, I mean, I know there's other videos out there that shows you, hey, look, it's done like this. But, um, yeah, just uh, this is a, a different point of view. You know, this isn't a professional setup. This is how you would probably do it. Um, you know, I don't have a, a, a shop or anything like that. Um, another thing I wanted to point out for you guys that you may not have noticed. Um, if you look right here, this is your shock mount, the lower shock mount. This is your axle. Um, if you can see right here, um, you've got two nuts down here and then this, um, U-bolt comes right out. And like for those that live in the rust belt, uh, you can swap this out without a problem so uh just pointing that out uh just giving you a heads up or a tip or however you want to look at it just helping out but anyway yeah i'm gonna get to this other side but i'm not gonna film that i'm already pushing 10 minutes so as always guys thanks for watching later gators